Uh, we have Dr. Akshay Kutpaje with us. Um, he is with us to share about head and neck cancers. Welcome, sir. So, could you please explain to us about the new advancements in the field of head and neck cancer? Right. So, over the recent times, there have been significant advances uh, in terms of treatment in head and neck surgical uh, surgery. Uh, so, we have been embracing uh, laser surgery as well as robotic surgery in head and neck and that has significantly uh, improved uh, functional outcomes, not compromising cancer care. Okay. Um, could you please throw some light on this robotic, robotic surgery? Yeah. So, robotic surgery is uh, basically uh, a surgery which uh, can be performed using robotics arms by still being uh, operated by uh, surgeons where you can reach previously un unimaginable sites such as back of the tongue, upper part of the uh, foot pipe and sound box without needing to cut open the lip, jawbone or the normal tongue to reach that area. By robotic surgery what we can do is we can reach these inaccessible sites, perform surgeries in this really deep seated lesion, oncologically safe and the recovery of these patients when we perform with robotic surgery is significantly better. These patients stay in hospital for a couple of days. Previously, uh, we, these kind of operation would need the major uh, operations, including free flaps where the surgery may last for about eight to 10 hours. Now it can be done in a couple of hours and the stay in the hospital is on just a couple of days as well. Mm -hmm. okay. Transoral laser surgery is another uh, significant advances in uh, surgical treatment where early cancers of the vocal cord can be performed through the mouth okay. uh, without needing any uh, uh, cutting open throat or cutting open the neck uh, where laser can be coupled to the microscope and that with the free beam you can precisely cut on the sensitive organ the vocal cord uh, remove the cancer completely and again these are done as daycare it takes about one hour for the cancer to be out completely okay. and uh, uh, they go, go home the same day so they, but thereby, we can avoid radiotherapy in a significant group of early cancers mm -hmm. uh, and then obviously we can avoid the morbidity, long duration of treatment. But it's very important as surgeons, we need to choose these cases properly. Uh, we are not replacing radiotherapy by using transoral laser surgery, mm -hmm. but there is a significant group of patients which will, will be benefited by this technology. That was indeed a very informative session, sir. Thank you for letting us know about this new advancements in the field. Um, thank you so much for being at this video.